Hello, 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 everybody. It is I, Neon Icy Wings, and we are continuing our journey today. After a few, like, a week break, because, you know, reality in life. But I finally did manage to not only find this handy-dandy menu that has a nice little plate of here are all the waddle dees that I have gathered everything except the ones at the end of uh, Redgar Forbidden Lands and then if we hit this we can also see that there's a hidden uh, wrong one that we've got all except for some in winter horns and then once more forbidden lands so we're gonna go on a handy dandy adventure and gather up all of the diddly dees that we can and then we'll go and uh, continue on with the main levels and see if we can get that there 100% uh, or whatever ending because there's always a completion ending with uh, Kirby and of course now the cat wants out because he I begin streaming and then just ah, pause at the beginning. I believe. My cat is a silly boy. A very silly boy. But yes, now let's get on with Slash Meta Knight Sword Trial. And then we'll do all the treasure trials and then head back. Well, all the treasure trials that we can. Then we'll head back and upgrade as many evolved abilities as we can. And then I don't know. Because it might be that we won't have enough of the uh, stones to upgrade all of the abilities and do all of the... Oh, shit. I didn't expect the big boys to be thrown at me. I probably should have. Basically, if I get hit, I'm screwed on time. Come with me and die. Oh! It's been a while since I've actually run into them. They do not hold much in my memory. They're just spawning all these dudes. It's a real battle royale in here. Uh, no! My beams! My magnificent beams! My poor beams! My beam beams! I definitely didn't get time there. I can tell you that. I could also tell you that if I looked at the time before. What? How? I am a I am a failure of a fool. How did I get that time? And hello, loading personality. Happy to see you here at the beginning of the stream. Like I said, our plan is to gather all of the stones in the trials that we have yet to fully accomplish. Wrong button. Only twin fifty percent. This is not going to be the end of the stream. Or, well, this is not going to be the end of this game. I can tell you that. Yeah, we're gonna go gather up as many as we can of these treasure troves. Then we're gonna go evolve as many abilities as we can to then... Uh, to then go forth even more, get more stones, evolve more abilities, and just uh, get as much accomplishment as we can because I have gathered up all of the missing Waddle Dees from all the stages that I currently have uh, played on stream. 
So now the only missing Waddle Dees are from levels I have yet to play. Because for some reason, the level of the world that I'm at, Daniel, gives real final level, final world level boss vibes. So I'm just thinking, hmm, this could be the end. It might not, but it might be as well. Yay. So I was just hedging my bets on the offhand chance that it was the final world and collected all the Waddle Dees. And gotta go fast indeed on slippery snow. Five seconds off. At least it wasn't one second. If it was one second, I would have gone... Ah! Scream. Again. I. That's enough for one super ability and two uh, not super abilities, I think. Now we just need the pencil drill. I probably could have selected it from there, but my brain is like, no. Overworld having use. The efficiency part of me is just like, I could actually use this handy dandy uh, level select menu, but brains is no. Die. It is I. Just in case. Gotta go fast as a mole man. I'm like uh, here, golfer. I'm like golfer from. Uh, oh, I'm. I probably could have made it if I went fast, but I'm paranoid. I'm like a gopher from uh, Winnie the Pooh. One of the lesser, like, acknowledged and talked about Winnie the Pooh characters. And here I thought I wasn't going to make it. That felt like it was a, haha, you could miss. You know, that didn't really feel like it was specific to the pencil drill. That felt like it could have been any of them. And once again, like four to five-ish seconds off. That's going to be the new one second, isn't it? But hey, that's all the treasure trubities done on this level, world, section of the planet. And uh, we are going to actually make use of this because I don't want to travel across the dibbity da. Let's see. We can do a blizzard ice treasure. Oh, it just teleports me there. So really going through the overworld is better. If you're, like, in the general vicinity. Uh, don't want to go hopping continents? Then yeah. Alright. Whoop! I still love that you can actually do that. Now this is gonna be cool. I like this. Oh, it actually goes away. Oh, I can't fire while... Ah, that makes sense. Gotcha! Sure. That actually makes it interesting. You can't just fire like crazy. But I guess while I'm doing this, I've been thinking of what, like, other games I should uh, uh, play once I beat Kirby and then try to upkeep an actual schedule. Well, maybe not schedule, but, you know, ghost. Uh, actually, keep on playing games. I am terrible ballerina. Kirby on lava, using ice. And I'm think I'm trying to think of like what game I should uh, or game series I should move on to because I have way too many game series I want to get to. I want to play a bunch of Digimon games. I want to go back and uh, play through the uh, Tales of series. You know, like Tales of Symphonia, Tales of Arise. What is the list of possible games? Uh, I'm actually giving it to you. Haha. <laughs> but yeah, I also want to do like. If I do, like, here's the list of games that I want to move on to, in a way. Tales of Fantasia, which is the first Tales of game, and a, I forget, prequel or sequel to Tales of Symphonia. Oh, yeah, I actually can do you, because you don't have a lock. Uh -huh. But, yeah. Tales of Fantasia, PlayStation 1 version, English patch. I've played it once before, uh, years and years ago, and then Depression so it's not fully documented on the internet. Oh, wrong one. I actually want to destroy that. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, Tales of Fantasia is definitely on the list for games that I want to play. Persona 4 Golden. I want to play that one really bad and play through, like, Persona 5. Ah, shit. Persona 5 and then Persona 3, if I like Persona 4 and Persona 5. Because I hear that uh, Persona 4, I mean, uh, Persona 3, 
is a, a kind of a, a, a harsh mistress. And that it's best to play at like four, then five, and then if you want the hard stuff, go to three, and then basically ignore one and two, because one and two are a bit weird. And then maybe someday, uh, currently not on the list, but on my radar, is Shin Megami Tensei. Which is the sister series to Persona, which I actually think came first. It's just that, for whatever reason, Persona blew up. People just don't like demons. They like, uh, they like, uh, tarot cards. But, but, yeah. Tales of Fantasia is definitely on the list of games I want to play. Well, replay in this case, and then go through a bunch of Tales games, alternating with other games. Persona 4 Golden is definitely on the list. I did stream it a long, uh, at least a few hours of it, a long, long time ago. And I think I got to the second palace? I forget. My memory is very shoddy. And let's see, what other games? Uh, basically, I have lots of freaking games. Uh, definitely want to play through some uh, Final Fantasy games. I'll probably... I don't know. Like, uh, definitely want to start with uh, Final Fantasy VI. Or as it was known in the West, Final Fantasy III. For whatever reason. Ah, damn it. Oh, never mind. It went through. Good. But yeah, definitely want to play some Final Fantasy, and I'd start with Final Fantasy VI, and then uh, play just like however many Final Fantasies interest me. Maybe even backtrack to the 2D ones. And then, what other series? Other series on my radar trying to think. Maybe Far Cry's? Uh, I streamed Far Cry 2 a long, long time ago. And I could probably uh, return, do more of that, and then go through a bunch of the series. Let's see, what other games? Uh, maybe some Elder Scrolls, because uh, Morrowind is a lot of fun. And then I could try to suffer through oblivion and its terrible, terrible, terrible level curve because the way they did the leveling system in, in oblivion is legitimately trash and uh, then go on to Skyrim and of course if I did do like Elder Scrolls, I would definitely alternate in between streams. When it comes to other games, well maybe because RPGs do last for a long time. So yeah, more than likely, I would have to set up a schedule of, hey, play RPG, and then something like a Kirby game. You know, a game that doesn't take five billion years to beat. Yeah, uh, let's see. I guess I could do like a Sekiro run. I like Sekiro. But it also depends on the vibe I get from the game. Like, I did one stream of Elden Ring, and then I just felt like uh, streaming Elden Ring wouldn't work for my stream. It's like, uh, open world games are hit or miss when it comes to streaming for me. Because, like, a game, sometimes a game that I'll, I like to play, I might not necessarily like to stream for whatever reason. So it all depends on the vibe, but, like, uh, things like Fantasia, Persona 4 Golden... And, uh, da -da -da -da. oh yeah, I need to return to Pokemon. I need to re return to Pokemon. Maybe finish off uh, the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team post-game stuff. Return to that. Get back into that groove. Ah, uh, shit, I missed a ring. But luckily, we're we're here for time, not uh, rings. We ain't Sonic. And maybe uh, some uh, Sonic games. Oh, you bastard. I have, basically, I should maybe set. It's like, that's the one downside of being a small streamer. Because if I was a bigger streamer with an active, super active chat, I'd be like, hey, active viewers, what would you like to see me play in the future? And then, like, get an energy spiral going. Which just means that I have to keep at it to make my own energy. And that way I can conjure viewers out of the ether. 
basically be Kirby and save viewers from the horrible nightmare of Twitch's algorithm. Alrighty, now we're going to upgrade some thingies! We can do at least three. So huzzah. But let's see. We've already seen this cutscene quite a lot. Is it just a hammer? The hammer ability has evolved into wild hammer. And then, yeah, we can go do a treasure. Let's see. So it just seems like super heavy. Just a two hit super heavy. So yeah, it's basically, you want death? Here's death. Homing bomb. It has a little radio scope on top. At least I think that's what it's called now. But yeah, basically I have... Oh yeah, and I also want to play other, like, Spyro games. Because I really love the Spyro trilogy. Hell, maybe I could play through the uh, Spyro Reignited trilogy again on stream. Have fun with that. And then use that to go into uh, the uh, non-Insomniac sequels that are highly divisive and a lot of people hate. Because they were all Christmas rushed. Christmas rushed. Christmas rushed. And then I can go on to play the, the games that I actually like. The Legend of Spyro series. And then proceed to not play Skylanders. Because that one is far too materialistic. And I don't have five billion dollars to spend. Okay, this is an awesome upgrade best upgrade, but, uh, yeah, I don't have five billion dollars to spend on getting a decent swath of dibbity daws It's a cool idea. Some of the, uh, ideas behind, or not ideas, but, like, some of the statues in the Skylander series are pretty cool. But, uh, I can only imagine getting it secondhand, years and years and years out of date, is probably an, a collector's nightmare. <laughs> nightmare cord. Nightmare cord. Dig and duck. Runaway parade. But yeah, basically, I have way too many games. Oh, yeah, and I also want to play through the Ratchet and Clank games, the Jack and Daxter games, the Uncharted games... Maybe the Akaza games? Once again, it depends on uh, if uh, the game feels like it's fun to stream. It all goes by vibes, man. In this case, we need a literal vibe check. gonna get through this before I continue my glancing at my game collection. Then there are games like a Gauntlet Dark Legacy I could do a one-off of. No idea how long that would take. It's a uh, arcade game. And I, I just love Gauntlet Dark Legacy. It's very nostalgia for me. Okay, I did... Uh, the angle was weird. <laughs> yeah... Let's see. Also want to do, like, the Crash Bandicoot series. Well, at least some of the Crash Bandicoot. I am not in love with Crash as I am Spyro, so I would do the Crash Insane Trilogy. And then Crash 4, it's about time. Then there are ones like, I, I also could return to the Kingdom Hearts. There's a thing. <laughs> Apparently you really love Crash. That would drive you insane. Maybe. I, I think I played the first Crash on stream years and years and years ago. So I don't know how crazy it would drive me. But, like, I would definitely not try to 100% complete a, It's About Time because I watched Kid Icarus. I know how insane he went. Going 100%. Me, I do 100% stuff uh, when it uh, suits me. When I care. Then again, I'm also the insane guy that wants to play uh, Kingdom Hearts 358 over two days. So, what do I know about sanity? 
It all depends on the jank. The first is annoying, especially the bridge level. Hilariously, I remember not having that much trouble with the bridge level. Then again, I also had a hard time with the first boss because I thought, oh, I can spin and didn't think, oh, maybe I should jump on his head because I'm kind of an idiot. Let's see, what other games? I could try and play through the, uh, I hate these double battles. Oh yeah, the, the, a small dibbity da sidetrack. Uh, one of the, hey, to save uh, Waddledees, you need to beat these two uh, Frosties, uh, Mr. Frosties, back to back, well not even back to back, just literally in the same combat zone without taking damage. And they were the final encounter of the goddamn level. I hated that. I hated that. Defeat bosses about getting hit? Sure, fine. Two Mr. Frosties? Hate. Well, let's see. Yeah, I could also try and play uh, through some of the Metal Gear Solid games. Like Metal Gear Solid 1, Metal Gear Solid 2... Metal Gear Solid 3, I'll need to decide on which version of 3 I'd want to play, though. And then uh, Peace Walker, probably not 5, because that is open-world bullshittery and is uh, much grinding. Uh, you like games like Hollow Knight? I actually, one of the first games that I streamed in totality on my, uh, on this channel in uh, last year, actually was the first game that I completed in totality last year was Hollow Knight. Hey, Metal Gear Solid, pretty solid. <laughs> indeed. But what other games? What other games are on my list? Maybe some Dishonored? Maybe some Dishonored? I have a personal gripe with Dishonored 2. Because uh, <laughs> uh, Dishonored... Uh, I really liked Dishonored 1. And uh, then I saw that uh, Dishonored 2 was on sale in a physical store for PlayStation uh, 4. So I was like, oh, I really like uh, this game. I will uh, get this game. Uh, and uh, so I did, uh, especially because it was only like $10 and it was only $10. And it promised that it would bring forth... Uh, oh, this is going to be a puzzle. I'll just continue, but like, yeah, it was like $10 for Dishonored 2, and it's like, oh yeah, and you get bonus digital thingy, and uh, the digital uh, definitive edition of uh, Dishonored 1 for PlayStation 4 as well. And I was just like, oh yeah, that seems like nice, sure. And then wouldn't you know it, uh, the digital code for all of that stuff besides... <laughs> Uh, for the Dishonored 2 Definitive Edition and all the little bonus packs uh, was expired by one day. Which, and I know what some people might say, oh, well, you should have looked at the fine print. I say bullshit because I also got the Metal Gear Solid Collection and the God of War Collection for PlayStation 3 years out of print and those codes still worked. So I do not care. <laughs> I have a personal vendetta against freaking Dishonored 2 because of that. And sure, it's like, ah, oh, you should have looked at the fine print. It's just like, no, I got gear. I got God of War. Uh, is God of War's two little extra PlayStation portable games on PlayStation 3. I got Metal Gear Solid VR Mission on PlayStation 3. And those games were literally years out of print. I call shenanigans Dishonored 2, basically hardly a year. Day one collector, day one definitive dealy. Be like, oh, I get you sure to buy. It's like, no, no, I refuse. So if I ever did play Dishonored 2 on stream, it would be a super duper angry stream of me constantly bringing it up. It's like, yeah, sure, I already owned Dishonored 1 on PC, but it said that I would get this code, and the code did not work! 
I would just be super angry the entire way through. Oh, you should read the, the fine print. Ah, game, game developer people shouldn't be a Well, not even, the uh, publishers shouldn't be assholes. I need to be on the lookout for shortcuts on this one. Yeah, that's just my personal eternal gripe against Dishonored 2. But, uh, what else? I guess I could also try Bloodborne. Because, uh... Oh, you bastard. Because, uh, I have Bloodborne. And I hear lots of good things about Bloodborne. I like Dis I like Dark Souls 1. I like Sekiro. I love Elden Ring. I'm dead. I love Elden Ring. So, Bloodborne would be a lot of fun to do, Billy Bones. I'm so happy I got that. If I missed that, I would have cried. Have you played Dark Souls before? Yes, I... Did I beat Dark Souls 1? I want to say I beat Dark Souls 1, but it's been so long, and I did a lot in Dark Souls 1. It's possible that I got to the end game of Dark Souls 1 and then didn't, like, go to the final one. Plinplon? What's Plinplon? Did I say Plinplon? I don't know. Let's see. Final thing. Hmm. I have all of the treasure thingies from all the lands that are currently available. I have all of the currently available Waddle Dees, so now we move on to the new level, the Beast Pack's final stand. But yeah, I, basically I have just ki 10 kajillion games that I want to play through. Like I also want to play through the Pikmin games. There are one-offs like uh, Metal, uh, Metal Arms that I want to do. Huh, that's interesting. Like, I love Metal Arms. It's a game from the GameCube era. I need to be careful. Because some of this some of this stuff is shenanigans, I swear. Hmm. Still can't drill through. I really should have picked a bet. No! My burger! My burger! And it was something to check if you finished DS1 or not without spoilers. Again, it's been a long time, so I'll, I, I know a decent stuff, but that a lot of stuff of Dark Souls 1, but a lot of it is also just forsaken memory. I really do. I need a better ability. Hammer time, Billy! I probably could use gun more. Yeah, I think gun would be better overall. But yeah, tons and tons of games. Like, again, maybe even uh, the God of War games. No! Sword, sword went gone. God damn it. I also kind of want to play the Naruto uh, Ultimate Ninja games. Uh, in fact, that was another one that I streamed a long time ago. It was... Uh, uh, Ultimate Ninja Storm on PC. That one had a lot of troubles to get running properly. It was a long, bloody time ago. Bastard. Oh, this is meant to defend me. I'm dumb. Get on the ground. I said, my friends, I'm Kirby. Get on the ground. And then there's also just the, the absolute metric shit ton of like indie games and ste games on my Steam list that I want to play through. Oh, maybe I should play through. Uh, uh, I think it's a, a new indie game. At least it might be an indie game. Uh, Tunic. Feature, it's a, seems like a cute, isometrical uh, game where you play as a fox. My brother got it for me for a, as a late birthday gift. That's also on the list of games to play. Just uh, uh, a lot of games. 
lot of games. Oh, I see you. Faster. Will you kindly jump, game? We need water in this fire facility. Quit hitting me! I'm gonna guess. I, I'm gonna have to play this hopscotch game on the way back. Billy. But yeah. <laughs> Damn you, the, the thing told me to come here, and then I got punished for going. Absolute madness and pain. And now it actually turns back. You will pay for what you've done. You will suffer. All of you will suffer. I've got my milk. But yeah, I just have way too many franchises and things to get to. I sincerely hope that one of the Hey, Save the Waddle Dees uh, secret dealies isn't, oh, get through the water section without getting hit by any of the sludge from the toads. That would just be mean. But yeah, just so many games. Way too many games. And it also depends on, like, what games are also coming out, because, like, I will definitely want to stream uh... What's it? Uh, Digimon Survive when it comes out. I forget if it has a new, uh, finally has a new release date. Because it, uh, it was supposed to come out in, like, uh, 21, I think. <laughs> Their schedule got screwed. Ah, oh, man, I can come up here. There's nothing up here. Shenanigans. Just looking for any secrets. All right, time we go. Destroy the bulls. Boy, maybe for that. Bastard. Oh. And. I love the music in this game. Once again, another, oh dear lord, I hope they don't do the hey, don't get hit, uh, <laughs> mantra. Get through the vending machine section without getting hit by the fire. Hey. Be gone, snake. We were just talking about Metal Gear, but no, not you. Wait. Ah, I can see. Ah, yes, definitely. We need to destroy you. Most imperatively. And I see another wanted poster over there. Die, rabbits. You're too late for Bastard. Yes, you're too late for Bastard. Surprise. And surprise to you, too. We are friends. I'm just trying to think of other things to say. Hmm. Probably want the gun so we can get the beast poster more reliably. I think I can shoot. That's kind of mean. 
Guess I have to come over here and trick shot it. And there's still two missing. Ah, they think they can lock me out. Fools! Bulls! And he went into the lava. Man, just, <laughs> there's just so many games that I want to get to. It'll take me forever to get to them. I need to shake it more reliably. It just makes it feel like I should be holding backwards at all times. And now we're infiltrating <laughs> through the vents. This really is Metal Gear. The hell are you? Oh, it was the back of the crocodile head. I was actually going to say that. Can I destroy you? Damn you. I want to look out for any uh, wanted posters. Really. Aha, you missed me. Oh crap, Billy Boat! Kirby is not a crack shot. Hmm. I'll just aim from here. Who needs to worry about things when you can just shoot them? That one was mean, unless the turn will actually show it. <laughs> okay, it would have shown it, but still. Still don't know why it's giving me all these tutorials. Now, one that I wouldn't mind being, a, hey, do uh, do this, is kill all of the, all the crocodiles. Water bugs go home. Damn you. Big Mouth Kirby just wanted to save the day. Well, we're on track to saving uh, everybody. Well, Crash. We're going to need Crash for something. I'm scared. We're going to need that for something. Okay, that entire room just fell into the lava. Hopefully, we uh, <laughs> get to the uh, point that I'm expected to use Crash before they put the next wanted poster. Crash! Hopefully that's what they wanted. It didn't look like it was, hey, use this crash for thing to do. Oh no. Oh, this reminds me. I also want to do, oh crap. The final one poster is going to be on one of the walls, ain't it? My head's on the swivel. But as I talk, another one of the games that I want to do, or game series, is Star Fox. Maybe skip the SNES game, but definitely do, like, uh... Definitely do, like, uh, 64 and, uh, the GameCube games and the DS games. I do have the Wii U game. So, it's something to think about. Like, I just have so many goddamn games I want to get to. So many games! Final one at poster, where are you? Final one at poster, where are you? I'm scared, final one at poster. I miss you. Ah, coffee. The hidden coffee. The hidden popcorn. And then the hidden burger. 
here, why poster? I shouldn't expect that I could do that, but I didn't. I'm, I'm trying to keep my head on a swivel. Damn you. Give me my power back. There it is. There he is. My boy. So now we're gonna, uh, we at least did everything that we know about. So unless there's secrets that I missed, we're gonna have to do this two more-ish times. That's only if I can manage to do them in a good time. Oh yeah, I also want to do the Mass Effect games. Because I have the uh, Mass Effect trilogy now, so I could also do Mass Effect. As much as uh, the final like end has been uh, a bit mixed over the years, I still hear that it's a wonderful trilogy. And Kirby saved the day. Saved lots of people. If that was our last stand. But now let's see. Don't fall in the lava while using Cone Mouth. Oh, I got that one. Yay. Defeat all the beasts in the starting area. Well, at least that one's simple. Fire. I already read that one, I think, a long time ago. It's hard to tell because I got a lot of these. <laughs> uh, well, then again, they also tells me that uh, uh, how many uh, how I've got how many that I've gotten. So if I get a new one, I'll know. But if I get one that's gotten like two, then I was like, hmm, was this one of the ones that I got while I was grinding waddledees? Danger, danger! This ability makes the biggest boom of all, and you can hold the button down to make it even biggester. Nothing will escape that blast. Whoosh! Whoa! Ah, vending machine Kirby. Kirby gained the mysterious mouthful mode after he flew through the vortex. Now he can stuff an entire vending machine into his mouth. Fire soda cans forward to attack enemies and blast through barriers. Your ammo is limited, so keep an eye out for any cans that can be picked back up. They heal you. They heal you a lot. It's very nice. It's very, very good. Mwah. Oh yeah, I just remembered. I have Sonic and the Secret Rings and Sonic and the Black Knight. So I really should get to uh, get around to playing some uh, Sonic games someday. Like I said, way too many games. That's a freaking rocket ship, and we're gonna be fighting the masks masked uh, DDD again. Oh, and more show up. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> it's been eight days, and I forgot that more show up. We're going to go ahead and beat... Well, first, we're going to do that. We're going to do these, actually. And then we're going to go back, get the sword ability, so we can reliably kill all the enemies at the beginning of that level, blitz through the level, and uh, just do things. Yeah. Damn you, you did not run at the same time as your allies, your allies, your owl eyes. Yeah, yeah, I'm Kirby, yeah, I'm Kirby. Bite me. Haha, <laughs> you tried, you know you're dead. Ah, we're bringing out the vending machine time. Die, rabbits! It's past Easter! I have all the soda cans in the world, you idiots. All the soda cans in the world. The problem with having so many games is that I'm sure that there's tons of games I've forgotten. Like, I also want to do, like, some Fire Emblem games. Especially, uh, Fire Emblem's Three Houses, since I have that. 
Uh, I do eventually maybe want to try, like, uh, see if I can get 3D. Uh, three, what the b bastarding bitch? I was over there and you know it, game. Oh, but we're going to respawn you at the beginning. We're assholes. Uh -huh. but yeah. Uh, if I also really want to, I might try to get 3DS emulation working properly and see if I can stream uh, the 3DS Fire Emblem games. Because I am not lucky enough to be one of those people that has a 3DS capture card. That's it. If I could record uh, and stream 3DS games easier, like, I would already have done it. Literally, the only reason I haven't done it yet is because I fear. Well, not fear, it's like getting the emulator to work properly getting the ROMs onto... It's just like, it's all a big bother. Why are there the spontaneous icicles? Magical icicles. Wow, they're just throwing all the abilities. Where, Where's the stairs gonna come in? Out of the way. Here comes car. 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 And another big thing would be like uh, getting. What the hell? Oh, bullshit. I call bullshit on that. Oh, uh, you bumped into the cannon and then the cannon hurt you. Whoa, is you. I call shenanigans. But yeah, another thing with having so many games that I want to pl uh, play and get through is it's also kind of a bother to, like, uh, hook some things up because if I want to play Jack and Daxter and Ratchet and Clank, I'm going to have to put on my PlayStation 3 because Sony just can't decide if they want to put things anywhere. Stormy Tornado Treasure. Well, looks like we're going to have to head back. Ah, and we can grab the... Uh, Did I miss a blueprint? I think I might be missing a blueprint. Let me talk to you. How do you do? There's plenty to discuss today, but you'll have to connect online first. No. The blueprint uh, for a new tornado evolution is hiding in Gathering of the Beast Council. Ha. Huh. And I went through that one like three times. Well. We'll talk to him again and go through the Beast Council because the Beast Council isn't that hard. All right, tell me where it is again. I'm not going to connect online because I don't have online. Yep. If I understand this correctly, which I usually do, it's near the section with the roller coaster, so at the end of the game. Well, not end of the game, end of the level. Well, at least he tells me where it is. That's kind of nice. Alrighty. Diddly D. Blueprint near the roller coaster. Perspective. My eyes are shit. That one I was just looking away from the screen because I'm an idiot. But at least I got like a, a, a tea from a flower. It's like they knew I would get hit. Here, have an energy drink. You got hit getting to the boss when there was only like two enemies, you fool. Try and run away. Can't escape me, Mr. Thick Thighs. Another game that I'm kind of interested in maybe... Oh yeah, Banjo-Kazooie. Banjo-Kazooie's also on my... Hey, I need to get to these someday. But uh, related to that... I am also interested in potentially doing the Donkey Kong 64 someday. Once again, not 
not to 100% completion, because that game is literally rare going hardy har. Let's see how insane we can make a collectathon. Just know, I have sanity, thanks. Again, maybe if I was a bigger streamer, it would be worth my time to slave over the insanity of 100%ing Donkey Kong 64. But since I'm doing this for fun, for fun it shall stay. And I do not find it fun doing an insane run of, oh no, five bajillion collectors. Ah! But other games I also want to get to is like Uncharted. The Witcher! I need to do The Witcher sometime. I think... I forget if I recorded or streamed some of the first... Uh... Witcher. It'll be something to look into it. Throw your dance partner round and round. The monster. Yeah. Ah, crap. What a time for my... <laughs> cam... Uh, my TV to just, uh... Oh, yeah. Because for whatever reason, I think it might be an HDMI cable. Uh, sometimes my TV will just, uh, black out for a few seconds. Dang it. Ah, he's sending his waifu at me. But I'll have to charge through his waifus. No cage for you. No Nick Cage for you. Oh, I'm surprised it took me this long to think of this game, but I also need to play through Xenoblade. The third freaking game is coming out this year. And that's not even counting Xenoblade Chronicles X. Well, not uh, Xenoblade X, Chronicles X. The Wii U one. But yeah. Because I have... Uh, I have all the Xenoblades currently. I have Xenoblade Chronicles for both the Wii and the Switch. I have Xenoblade Chronicles X for the Wii U. I have Xenoblade Chronicles 2 for the Switch plus DLC. And, uh, yeah, I just, <laughs> I have so many that I need to eventually frickin' get to it. Now that the third frickin' game is coming out of nowhere. Seriously. I did not expect them to pump it out this quickly. So yeah, I just like so many games, and it all hinges on if I can keep my mental state together and actually stream reliably, really. That's probably the biggest thing that would keep me from getting through all these games. Well, that and life. But then again, mental state kind of falls under life. looking everywhere for where this blueprint could conceivably be, just in case. It was in such a simple place. Such a simple place. How did I miss it? I'm an idiot. Yeah, basically, way too many games. One of these days, I'll play some of them. It also depends on how effective a schedule I can make. Oh, time will tell, Billy Bones. The time will tell. Yeah, I've just I've done this one so many times, grinding away at the various things, looking for various secrets to get all the Waddle Dees, but there's nothing for me to comment on. Ugh. 
This one is a done deal for me. And I did. I got all the I got that blueprint. So I can go back, make it, and do that last treasure trial, hopefully. And then we can go get the last Waddle D before the boss. And then play through the boss a million times. <laughs> it just goes on and on. It just goes on and on and on. Because there's five billion Waddle Dees to save. How many have I saved so far? Yes, yes, we know. There is a thing in there. That is why we uh, came back here, Kirby. You don't need to announce it. 292 Waddle Dees. I have done it. I have yet another one. Gib. Gib to me. Now I'm trying to think. Will this finally... I, I'm trying to think. How many abilities do we have fully evolved now? I'll have to look through. Ooh, now this one looks cool. Looks nice. Oh, that's awesome. So you're fully upgraded, you're fully upgraded. I honestly doubt that you're gonna have two. You're fully upgraded, you're fully upgraded, you're fully upgraded. Well, fully upgraded as in has three. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, and yes. And once again, really doubt it, but at the... Because seriously, what, what in the world could you possibly contribute? Well, actually, I'm going to go back and get my sword back because we still need to eliminate all of the uh, diddly Ds at the end of, uh, well, at the end, at the beginning of the last level that we did proper. Now we'll go do the treasure trial. See if there's any treasure trials that I missed. The two more will probably pop up after I beat the boss. But yeah, this game has been a lot of fun. That's why I love this game. Love Kirby. A bunch of Kirby games I should also play through sometime. Because I love Kirby. Though at the same time, a lot of Kirby's modern stuff have been on 3DS. That thing that I can't really uh, record or stream through all that well. Because emulation is a crapshoot. I love that enemy's home in. So if I miss any, the rest will take care of it. Oh, this ability is awesome. Die! Come with me! Ow, I hit the spikes. Oh no, the secret Waddle Dee that is hidden inside these treasure trials. He will not be saved. <laughs> then maybe one of these days I could also go back and do the DLC for Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. Because I love that game. Beat up the ducks. Die. Die as I fly. You will not take me in. I stay here. Would have been cool if they hit each other with their powers. Okay, I think that's new. The pirouetting above me. Well, that's not good. 
I'm making terrible time here, because I'm fighting with an ability that I have no- Oh crap, we're doing this again. What fun. Die. Doing this again, Billy. Flee for your life. Oh, we killed one while it was attacking me. Neat. Die. Die, Florina. Win, Florina. And I got the star. Almost a full minute past what they <laughs> recommend your time be. I'm a failure. <laughs> Adorable to see Meta Knight go, I did it. All right, then let's see. 11 out of 11. So all that are currently available are done. So now we need to do this one that we will try to blitz through. So let's see how fast we can do it because we've spent an hour playing uh, one level and doing a whole bunch of treasure troves. Whee! Wish I could just jump down. I can jump down. Yay. I'm Kirby. There is no fall damage. Ha ha ha! Ba -ba 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 -ba. I also want to do Bioshock someday. Probably not System Shock 2, because as much of a legend that game is known to be, it is still old and jank. Maybe I'll give it a, a first look over. So yeah, I'll probably just give it a first look over. And then I'll move on to Bioshock 1, Bioshock 2, <laughs> what Yahtzee Crashaw says should have been called Culture Shock, Bioshock Infinite. But at the same time, I don't have the Bioshock Infinite DLC, so... Uh... But at the same time, I have five billion diddly damn games to get through, so... By the time I <laughs> finally get to Bioshock Infinite, surely... I will have made it to the point that I will have had it. Hmm. <laughs> Surely by the time that I get to Bioshock Infinite through the five billion games I want to get through, I'll have gotten one <laughs> Twitch payout. Then again, it also just depends on how fast, like how consistent my schedule is and how many games I decide to do before Bioshock. Just so many variables. But yeah, just... <laughs> I'm at that, that silly point where I have so many games that I want to play that I just have too many of them. Faster. I am Meta Knight, you die. But yeah, this one's just uh, gonna be a little more difficult than the others to do when it comes to just getting through the levels. Because, unlike a lot of them, which are just, hey, you can ignore the side paths, this one doesn't have any side paths. This one is literally just the main path, and that's it. <laughs> At least the music's still good. Seriously, being a composer for Kirby must just be a, a godsend, because you get to just do so many cool and awesome music tracks. You get to call back to so many motifs throughout the Kirby series. It's just magnificent. Die, big boy. At least the extra challenges through this level have been really good. No, nothing like the, hey, beat the twin Frosties without taking damage. Still the worst challenge in the entire game. 
I swear to God, it's the worst thing ever. Bastard. Super bastard, I kill you. Luckily, you give me lots of health. Well, healing. You give me lots of healing. I fly along like the wings of a butterfly. Now, I, now I'm reminded of Galactonite. At least I think that's his name. I forget. What game was Galactonite from? I think... Robobo? Again, it's been five billion years. Please. Hold thy scorn for me not being a super Kirby god. <laughs> I also think I have a subscriber milestone to, <laughs> to do someday. If I ever hit it. Also depends, like, ah, what, what level of subscriber milestone should it be? No idea. Life will dictate, and life will wait. I don't really need to do that. We're going for fast. I don't need to do that one. Be gone, Satan. It is I, Shamu. I just healed you, bastard. Hmm. If I also wanted to, I could try and, uh, well, not try. I could also do classic RTSs that I enjoy. As, like, a change of pace from all these <laughs> 3D action games and RPGs. God, I love the, the shine at the back of his head. It's like they knew... Uh, I just love Kirby. Kirby's so fun. Kirby, the game that I don't mind grinding in all that much. Kirby, it's worth the grind. Die, you bastard. Get off my pier. It's my pier now! Ah, another game I could probably do as like a casual on and off could be Stardew Valley. I played a bit of Stardew Valley. It was fun. But if I get it like a, I don't know, like in the mood for it, I guess I could do it. If I have the right uh, motivation, someday, someday. Water bugs go home. Water bugs go home. That one water bug can inherit the O. And I don't need you, Crash. <laughs> Apparently it was too much he could he, he couldn't take my rejection. But yeah, the more I think, the more games I'm like, oh yeah, that game. Oh yeah, that game. There's just way too many games. Way too many goddamn games. And again, is I really lament having a, a small audience because I would kill to have somebody else come in and uh, like have a nice selection of people to run ideas by. So like, yeah, we want that so that my indecision can be assassinated. Because I have just way too many games. Brain cannot comprehend all of them. No one man should have all those thoughts. Those ideas. That list of games inside their head. Now I'm imagining that comic. As I, as I, 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 I don't think that I've ever seen the original. But it's just like, uh, gee, how did you get so, how did your arms get so swollen buff? Every time X, I do one push-up. Jesus Christ. In my case, it's... 
every time. That's what I should do. Every single time I go, I should play that game. I should play that game. I should do one push-up. But the thing is, I would have done like a hundred push-ups by now, and I'd be dead. So that's probably the advice against it. Do not actually do one push-up. You have this thought or this happens. You will die. Like that guy. That guy just got stabbed in the back by Kirby. If you try and do one push-up, every single time something happens, Kirby will come and Kirby will kill you. You, see, you know that picture of the Kirby plush holding a knife? Yeah, that'll be you. Kirby will be doing that to you outside your home with Elmo and Kermit. Imagine getting stabbed by Meta Knight's mask. Just horrifying. I forget. I find it funny that that one has its own unique model. God damn it, I didn't read the light bulb. If it could be read. I was just pressing buttons. But either way, now we move on. We have saved all the Waddle Dees that we can possibly save, so maybe there will... Will there be Waddle Dees up in this one? Well, it looks like it. Yep. Clear the stage, and then four others. In the presence of the king. Right now, my brain was just like, "Hey, I should also play like the uh, the the Fallout games again sometime." Definitely not Fallout One and Two because I save scum the hell in those games. My brain is just like, "No, no, save scum, save scum," because I want to do everything and I kind of want to min max some things, not everything. But it's like in that kind of game, I just want to get to the content and uh, not uh, mitigate my frustration. He's either sobbing or he's crying, but he put on a mask. A new mask. His primal nemesis, Forgo DDD. Okay, this is new. This is very new. I need to dodge more. There's a dodge option in this game, me. Okay, but what's going on with DDD? And I probably already missed out on the beat him without taking any damage option. This is nice music, though. Okay, he already got he got rid of his hammers. And he pulled out two more. No. Oh what? Damn you, Billy. I love this music. Okay, you went down. Round two. What primal... What primal essence has compelled you? Seriously. GDD, what happened, my bro? He's gone wild. He's gone rabid. He is... He's a firebender now. God, this is terrifying. How would you feel if frickin' DDD was running at you on all fours? It would be horrifying. And now he leaves lava splats.
Wake up, DDD. I am cutting your flesh with Meta Knight's sword. Do you remember this experience? <laughs> this is very bad. I swear, if one of the things is get swallowed by DDD, I will be in the upsetty. I don't think I got any of the things. Oh, no, I did! Clear by using the second level evolved ability. Woot! Happy dancing back, dances everybody lives. Except for uh, DDD, don't get up again and beat me up. Don't get hit by Forgo DDD's fire attack. Of course, of course. Though, wait, did I get hit by Forgo DDD's fire attack? I thought I got hit by his uh, tornado. DDD is awake again. So what's... Who? Alphalin, please? Elphalin, please do not be villain! Elphalin, please! We still don't know why DDD was possessed by primal rage. Elphalin, please. Elphalin, please. DDD, go back! Save your son! It would be kind of neat if the bosses were running after us. Toss him into safety! Toss him to save DDDD! DDD will hold the pack back. Because he's DDD. And seriously, that bunch of jokers? DDD can handle that. Lab Discoverer? There's another world. I thought this would be the end, but there is not. Alphalin, don't be the villain! English? Like, verbal English? What? Welcome visitors to the Dream Discoveries Tour of our science facility, Lab Discoverer. On this thrilling tour, you'll be introduced We're all going to, to the ultimate life form, what? IDF eighty six. Shadow? The moment IDF eighty six arrived on our planet, it began a campaign of destruction that threatened the ultimate life form. wildlife of our entire world. Luckily, our research team managed to capture it before and it could complete its invasion. Once it was contained, our lab began it studying. Maybe IDF dark IDF matter? Pieces. Because so dark matter invaded a lot of things. Research Spatial teleportation. For the planetary warp technology we enjoy today. Well, that's horrifying. However, the Waddle D. Thirty years after our research began. This is a new a recording. That's cool. Incident occurred in this facility. So the warping is how we got here. A new life form separated from the main specimen. Escaped Elfalin, in the please. Aftermath. Elphalin, please. Elphalin, please! Guess I'll take and fire. Here we are. Let's meet the ultimate life form. Specimen IDF 86. Okay, what the hell will this be? Okay. S something invaded this planet with warp powers, got captured, and 30 years later, there was an incident, a piece broke off, and What the fuck are you? Okay, well, Lion Guy. Take a good look, Pink Intruder. Isn't this a beautiful... S oh, it's Elphalin's mom. Oh, the silhouette, I can tell. Up close, it looked like a deformed baby giant head monster. Uh, the the silhouette, I can now tell that is Elf Elphalin's mom. Oh. You're not even seeing the Great One in full form. They're incomplete without their other half. 
Long ago, the Great One granted the people of this world a miraculous power. Those people left this world behind and entered a land of dreams. Pop star dreamland? Once the Great One is complete again, I know we will also receive this miraculous power. We, the ones they left behind in this forgotten land. And now the time has finally come. Elphalin the unwitting villain, I guess. Much cuter than their parents, yes. That's right. This small creature here is the Great One's missing half. Finally, after all our planning and effort, we can help the Great One reach their complete form. We've dreamed of this moment for so many years. If you dare to stand in our way, we'll feast on your hide. Man, t change that to flesh, and this guy would be a complete and utter terrifying monster, man. You will not feast on me. I am too strong. I got the power of fire. King of the Beasts! Leonga. Okay, you're big and scary. <laughs> you are honestly big and scary. Help. I'm scared. He is not stopping. Yeah, you clearly didn't listen to the broadcast that clearly said this thing invaded and tore this world to shreds! Maybe you, okay. Does everyone just have crazy powers? Oh, Jesus. Double Jesus. It's the brand new double rainbow! Double Jesus. Quit nom nom and on my hide. Why do you have laser beams? Okay, you're definitely an interesting boss. Damn it, I thought I could escape. Dear God, I hope there's not a beat this guy without taking damage. I don't think I can manage it. Okay, please don't try to reunite with your mom. Okay, good. I don't think Alpha li But that thing's still gonna wake up because... You dare. Plan ruined. Important plan. Needed labor. Opened vor- Oh, you're being possessed by that thing. Opened vortex. Found workforce. Brought here and yet 
Aramaid, irksome, pink contaminant. Careful planning now wasted. No more planning. No more patience instead. Everything shall be consumed. Well, you're getting eaten, my boy. Double boss fight? Yep, you're all getting eaten. Oh! Ultimate life form? I guess this is, uh, chaos. What the fuck? Okay, Kirby upping the Eldritch Abomination. Okay, I wanted to save all the Waddle Dees that I could before this, but, uh, looks like that's not going to happen. Why is this side vegetation and not the other side? Could this potentially be the world that the... Well, no. Th this is all about warp stuff. Invasive species, Fecto Forgo. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to battle this. Yeah, this thing's horrifying. It's all about waiting for opportunity to dodge. So, yeah! Kirby just going, hey, why are you shooting at me? Do you see the abomination? Jesus! Seriously, why are you shooting at me when the giant abomination monster is right there? At least that one didn't try to shoot me. I'm just, I'm still just trying to take this all in, this horrible nightmare monster. Because this is the most, like... Uh, I'm probably not conventionally eldritch, but this is horrifying. This is legitimately a horrifying monstrosity. It invaded this planet. Eh... Uh -huh. Please don't make me fight Alphalan. No! Oh, God! No, there goes Alphalan. And we had our buddy for like 10 minutes and lost him again. Yeah, this is all utterly horrifying and terrible. Yeah, you'd think that the moment that they contained this terrifying monstrosity, they'd be like, yeah, I think it's probably best that we, uh, you know, maybe, uh, try to destroy the Eldritch Abomination of Doom. I do not think that the people of this planet escaped. I think life form IF whatever whatever ate them all. Why this feels like a set piece for a Yakuza fight. But no, it's going to be fighting a giant eyeball again, isn't it?
Oh. Ultimate life form, Fecto Elphilus. Okay, seeing that in the distance is honestly terrifying. Seeing a Kirby boss in the distance! <laughs> I am not used to that. Okay, who put Elden Ring into my Kirby? I made the joke that I wanted uh, a Kirby mod for a... Uh... Dang it. I made the joke that I wanted a Kirby mod for Elden Ring. I didn't know Elden Ring was here in my Kirby. God, you're fast. And you just have a wonderful design. I need to get better at dodging. This is Elden Ring. Year of the Dodge. Surprise, motherfucker, it's me. You even get slowdown bonus. You can try that all you want. Dang it. My sword! Can I get you as an ability? I would love to have you as an ability. Oh. He's opening vortexes. Okay. Yeah. Sure. This is one of the coolest boss fights ever. This is one of the best Kirby boss fights I have experienced. I love this. Ultimate life form, I am Kirby. Ah, crap. He's throwing meteors at me. This is utterly amazing. This is utterly amazing. Dang it, I dodged into the fire. This is one of the best boss fights in a game. Who else, w who wouldn't want to fight a giant ear-winged uh, deer monster that can clone itself and send meteors your way? You're fucking healing yourself? All right, at least I cut down on your healing decently. Surprise, bitch. I dodge. Oh, he hit me into slow-mo, bastard. God, I love this. I need to dodge more. Granted, this is like the one boss that really requires dodging, I'd say. Aside from, uh... Armadillo Man. God, you are horrifying and wonderful and beautiful and hot. Damn it. Please don't have a beat him without being hit. More, more meteor. Oh, <laughs> my sword! Give it back, Fecto Alphalus. I am the Dodge Master. Damn it. Love this music, though. I forgot that causes shockwaves, but I beat you, man. Mouthful mode? Give me back my friend! I just sucked the Elphalan out. What even? 
Hey, it's me! Meta Knight Kirby! Hey, Elflin, do you think you could absorb your parent? And, like, become them full-time? Last-ditch effort to try and kill me, eh? Such incredible power! Whatever it's trying to do, it's going to be pretty bad! What is it, Kirby? It's gonna throw Popstar at us?! Is that your home? That's Planet Popstar?! Oh no! It's pulling Popstar through the huge vortex! It wants to your world to collide with this one! We have to stop it, but how? Kirby Optimus Prime Mode? Motobots, mouth up and roll out on this bitch ass. Fecto Elflin. Here we go. And it's playing the music! And all the shadows of the Beast Squads. Well, if you think about it, I kind of did the main uh, bosses of the uh, Beast Squad a, uh, a favor, because I beat them up and knocked them out before they could be uh, turned into these abominations. This is utterly fantastic. I love this. I love Kirby finales. Because they're so wonderfully insane. Kirby, people look at Kirby and like, ah, Kirby, it's just silly kid stuff. No, man, he's piloting robots and fighting gods. He is Optimus Prime. Surprise, Elphalin. Fecto Elphalin. Kirby's still coming for you. I don't know what is. Oh, beep, beep, beep! I gotta go over fast! I am Kirby, you bastard! Gonna throw one more at me? I am Kirby! Power me up, Elphalin. Make Kirby a god. Oh! Oh! We gotta do both! Oh! <laughs> this is bad! I can't do both easily. I'm gonna take you on. I'm gonna take you on. I'm gonna win. Cause I'm Kirby with my friend. Oh, that's epic. <laughs> that was one of the best Kirby finales I have ever been ever seen. Please don't be dead, Elphalin. That would be very sad. I mean, we did just kill your parent. Granted, it didn't... <gasps> Look at that freaking grass! <laughs> Is this Planet Popstar? For a moment, I was going to say, did Kirby just fucking speak? No, it was Elphalin. Everything is being pulled in! I need to close the connection between worlds. Even if it takes all the power I've got. Hey Kirby, thanks for everything. What about Waddle Dee Town? What about DDD? 
What about everyone on that goddamn planet? Don't worry, Kirby. There's still post-game content to get to. I just realized I might have to do the arena. <laughs> Credit time? Now, obviously, there's got to be, like, the 100% do everything. <laughs> hey, yay, Waddle D Town still exists. King DDD is a good guy. Yay, I get to hang out with my, my waifu. Is it odd that I want a story-based Kirby game now? The Like, maybe some kind of slice-of-life thing. Kirby and the Beast Pack. This, I think, is the best Kirby game. Then again, I probably would say that about every single Kirby game that I play through. But it's just like, the presentation of it all really helps. And it's like, not to mention, hey! They finally put a twist on your little helper friend becoming the villain. He didn't want to be the villain. Little helper Elphalin wanted nothing to do. It was act, <laughs> and not to mention, it's just like, this is so much to it. love it. So yeah, this forgotten land was invaded by this invasive parasitic monstrosity. <laughs> Look at everybody have a hammer. That's, <laughs> that's amazing. Oh yeah, and even though like, I assume this is a fake made up language much like the, uh, uh, much like the Splatoon squid language, so I assume. But the fact that there was spoken English dialogue in a Kirby game. Like, not just, oh, characters are talking, hee hee ha ha. No, actual audio. English speaking. That's hilarious. But yeah, it's just like, the presentation of this game. Sure, some things like, uh, some of the frame rates on certain things weren't the greatest, but like, I can forgive that. Because at the end of the, at the end of the day, a video game is all about the overall experience. Can I look past the flaws and still say this is a great thing? abso frickin -lutely. How? <laughs> I honestly hope that they do more like this. Because while I do enjoy classic 2D Kirby, we've had classic 2D Kirby for a long frickin' time. Like a really, really, really long frickin' time. And this is a brilliant breath of fresh air. An utterly fantastic breath of fresh air. There was something in the window and I think I missed it. God damn it. But yeah, I'm just happy Elphalin wasn't the... What? What? To be continued, what? Are you saying to be continued as in, oh, you need to go and... Uh, oh, look! The Beast Pack is actually in here! It's not, it's, it's, it's not just a, oh, you beat the game, good for you. Like, uh, and we unlocked the music! The Waddle Dee Live Corner stage has been rebuilt! And let me guess, yep. Another arena is ready for me to be annihilated by. And it's going to go all the way up to uh, Elphalin. The ultimate cup. Oh no. To enter the ultimate cup, visit the booth. 
and another ability? Want to increase the power of a copy ability. What? Yeah, now the beast pack is here. Of course, they would put waifu first. It's like they knew. Hey, look! Clara... Clara... is visiting our town. She looks a bit upset. Hmm. Ah, are you thinking what I'm thinking, Kirby? When things finally calmed down and the animals came to celebrate with us, Liangar was missing. I bet Claraline was looking f for him. She might have found something. We should ask her what's going on. But yeah, this is utterly fantastic. Hello there, Rainbow Shores. I just beat the uh, final boss of this this wonderful, 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 wonderful game. Loved it. Gotta read this. Guess what, Kirby? I found a way to make your copy abilities even more powerful. I just need a few rare stones to raise your attack power. I'm calling this process Ability Power-Up. I'm ready to power up your abilities whenever you are. Pick a favorite and we'll try it out. When you power up an ability with a plus, you'll be added to show that its attack powers have increased. Use that extra power to beat some hard bosses. Of course, we're gonna give it to you. I think I need to hit it back. But how are you, Rainbow? Rainbow Shaws. This is just loving. Ah, it takes a thousand and two. But yeah, we're gonna power this up. This is one of my favorite abilities in the game. We yeah, this game. This game is so freaking good. So freaking good. Love this game. Like, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I say that for every single Kirby game that I play. Like, every single new Kirby game, I go, yes, amazing, wonderful. But it's just like, this one, the presentation is just utterly fantastic. I love it. The presentation, the way it plays, it's the fact that it's a, a 3D Kirby that we... I don't think we've had a 3D Kirby, like, ever. Oh! Uh, for a moment, I thought that you were a, a, a statue, Meta Knight. Like, to celebrate my victory over you. Really good, my friend. I was playing some Zelda Link's Awakening on Switch. That's one game that I really want to get sometime. But again, there's just way too many games. <laughs> Hiya, Kirby. Been a while, hasn't it? I didn't get to say it before, so thanks for saving King Dedede. Speaking of, he seems to really like this town. He's been resting to help him so himself heal. Actually, we have something to give you. It's a blueprint for King Dedede. A gift from the king. What an honor. So now we have the Masked Hammer blueprint. But I need more gemstones. Oh, and tell in my chat how great your Joker voice was. Well, of course my Joker voice is the greatest. Don't you know that it's the most wonderful thing in the world? It, it's, it might be a little bit rusty. But at the same time, I love this game. Later, Alpha Lim, we still have to go save some people. And hello there, Skullisus? Skullsis. I don't know. The E throws me off. <laughs> uh, it kind of amuses me. Kirby, I'm scared, but we can't stop now. We have to keep going. What do you mean we have to keep going? <laughs> uh, we have already been here and beat everything. We just need to f f save the, the final bit. All right, don't get hit by Forgo DDD's fire attack. Let's try and do that. But yeah, this... Oh, I love this game. The one thing that I love about Kirby games is, especially, like, the 3DS and up Kirby games, they just have such wonderful presentation. I love this. Oh, I love the graphics. Like, uh, even though it's like, and a little bit of anti-aliasing here or there, but a little bit of frame rate problems, this is just one of the best games. Just one of the best games. Love this. Yes, 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 we know. You just gotta avoid your fire attack. Crap. Make it my planned goal to avoid your fire attack. At all costs. Crypt! Cryptos it! None! You will not hit me again!
<laughs> no. Please, for the love of God, do not hit me. Fargo DDD. -D -D. I just need to avoid all of your attacks. Booyah! Okay, time for Feral DDD. I've, I have Waddle Dees to save by beating you in specific ways! Leave me alone, you abomination! Love the music, though. This is honestly horrifying. Oh yeah, I still have to avoid your fire attacks! Or else I won't save that Waddle Dee! Ah, crap, I only got one hit in. Please leave me alone, you insane madman of a monster! I'm just avoiding all that you are. Oh, I forgot that you do this! <sighs> Die, thank you. And for the love of God, that better give me two. As did it. I'm save a day. Don't get hit by the fire attack. That's at least one. I'm hoping for two. Hoping for two. So that we can all be locked down to one. No, I got all of them. Yes. All Waddle Dees have been saved. Huzzah! Go ahead and skip that. Kind of funny that the lab immediately comes up that we beat that level. But, uh, no. Yes, yes, yes. I'm gonna go ahead and exit the stage, because you are not part of that. Interesting that it immediately goes into that, the final boss. Kind of a built-in boss rush there. But I save the... Okay, good. That, that counts. Thank God! You've saved all the Waddle Dees in Redgar Forbidden Lands! And that should be all the Waddle Dees everywhere. Unless there's hidden Waddle Dees somewhere. And then there's just one level. Let's see, anything? Nope, just the bosses. Okie doke, we're gonna return. So yeah, that should be everything. Though I have no idea where I get extra... Oh, we get, we get an Uffalin statue for saving everyone. And a Kirby statue! Yay! We did it, Kirby! We saved Waddle Dee Town! Through extreme violence! You saved every Waddle Dee. Thank you, Kirby. As a show of appreciation, special statues are now in the town plaza. We did it. When I severed the connection between our two worlds, I used up all of my power. I blacked out. But Claroline found me. She kept me alive. That's how I was able to see you again, Kirby. So if she needs help, then I volunteer. Oh, booyah. Statues of us right in the middle of town? Ah, oh, I think I'm blushing. I saw one you skipped. There was a, a white level. Hmm, I'll have to look at that. Whoa, is that a mass hammered blueprint? I want to make that. Gimme, gimme. All right, let me get my tools. I don't think I'll be able to level it up because uh, I think I spent all the gemstones I should have spent uh, <laughs> uh, leveling up my, uh, my, uh, my mass swordsman. Let me guess, it'll take five, so I wouldn't even had enough for that. Hmm. Of course, it's the most expensive in the world. All right. There was a white level, he says. But I should have done everything because we've done that one. All of these are done. All of these are done. Just all of them. 
And then we go over here. Oh, there's two that uh, evolve this ability uh, to Mast Hammer and progress through more of the story. Ah, that's why. Any other popped up? Nope. We need to just head back to Waddle D Town and talk to Clawraline. So you probably saw one of the ones... Oh, yeah, because I did beat a new level, so that opened up more thingamajigs. Ah, yeah. Clawraline is a town. Do you think we should um, check in with her, maybe? Hello, Clawraline. My waifu. A new split in space? Is this another mysterious vortex? What? You sense Leon... Uh, Leongar. Somewhere in there? The horror we're being sucked in! Well, bond words with horror and nightmares. And the waifu didn't even get a word in edgewise. A hidden world? A hidden world! Oh my gosh. This feeling. This is exactly how it felt when I absorbed my by my other half, Fecto Elphilis. It's possible that after that big battle, Leongar became trapped in this strange place. Come on, Kirby. We have to check it out. So yeah, new levels. Huh, isolated aisles. Forgo dreams. Uh, why are there star icons? This place feels like it's made from super strong psychic energy. Let's be careful. All right. Maybe my eyes were playing tricks on me of my old age. Well, more Kirby lore. Yep, indeed. Well, looks like there's more to do. Since I've been going for a decent amount of time, I don't think I'll delve into the new areas because I did not expect there to be that many more levels. I didn't expect there to be a literal post-game like that. <laughs> I kind of joked about it. Have you ever wondered why the Beast Pack stopped attacking and left this town alone? You certainly helped when you arrived, Kirby, but the Wildies told me that Meta Knight has been fighting to protect the town all on his own. He keeps watch day and night. He's even doing it right now from that perch up there. Gosh, Meta Knight is so strong and so cool. That is because I am the greatest Kirby character. Kirby, take this torch! Ooh, welcome to the Coliseum! If you're here to enter a tournament, you came to the right spot! Well, I guess let's try doing the ultimate cup. <laughs> Just try not to kill Captain Clown. Bats did that already. You killed Captain Clown. You killed Captain Clown! Still love that line. The ultimate cup is now available at the Coliseum. Challenging battles of ferocious ba uh, bosses awaits you. Well, we might as well give this one shot. Let's go ahead and try. It'll probably annihilate me, but at the same time, I did beat the Meta Knight Cup on my first try. So, maybe this won't be too bad, especially because I have evolved Meta Knight Mask. <laughs> oh, I... Die, Frosty Boy. away and then annihilate you thank you for the magical power of Meta Knight Mask but we have to do 12 battles now we have to fight DDD probably version 1 non-masked which uh, is honestly nice Wave all you want, boy. I'm Kirby. Oh, he's gonna grab me! No. Got some extra chip damage in. Huzzah. You can try that pillar all you want, DDD. Arrgh! Yeah. 
Yeah, shit. <laughs> Booyah! Ah, next for Claroline. Claroline. Don't know why this unname is eating my soul. Bring it on, waifu. Booyah! Hate to say it, my beautiful waifu cat, but you are by far the least cumbersome of the bosses. Goodbye. And onward we go to fight um, Goro Majima. Dang it, I got hit. Granted, we're a decent amount of fights in, so not getting hit is actually a pretty decent uh, achievement, I'd say. Even though now I don't have my laser beams. Oh, he's got a spin to win! <laughs> Keep forgetting that you do that when this happens. This is for get hitting me with chip damage! I'm all, I'm, for whatever reason, I'm still impressed by his stubble. And his thickness. Ah, crap, now we gotta fight the Cage Master. You've heard of the Page Master, probably, from that one movie that uh, I don't think did that well, actually. Kirby may never be stopped. We have to fight this asshole. Go ahead and skip this. Even though I would prefer to fight you with... Uh, with uh, the flame power. <laughs> Crap! This works too. Okay, one turn phases. Always nice. Now we have to get away from his waifu. More spinning to winning! Is this what it's like on a convention dance floor? Love this music, though. I thought him hitting his waifu mid-roll would do something to him psychologically, but apparently not. Dang it, he almost died! <laughs> die, you bastard! Get back here and die! This convention is locked off to you! So now sword and uh, floral, floral, sword guy and air person, the duck. Would you kindly die. I am the master of sword, not you. And, okay, Meta Knight Sword is just way too good. <laughs> way too good. Oh, we're <laughs> really fighting you. Dude, you're the easiest. You are the most annoying to beat without getting hit, but, dude, you are not scary. Especially when I get to use my uh, powers of choice. Aw, oh, crap. I'm caught in his goatee. Kirby's offensive has made his opponent desperate. Things are about to get tough. My name is Kirby. 
Damn you! You ugly bastard. I hate you. And your roots. Go back to Konoha, big tree man. All right, five more. Oh boy, we gotta fight Meta Knight again. I am healing up for that. Why would you give me the sleep ability before this? Sure, it's the upgraded one, because I put it there, so I would get extra health. Who's the real Meta Knight, Meta Knight? I think you'll find that it is me. You have new abilities? Oh, he actually uses my own, my favorite technique. He actually chip damaged me there. Take that, Meta Knight. I'm the real Meta Knight. Haha, <laughs> you think you can throw rocks at me? I am the Rock Master! Oh, what's this? Seismic chase powers. Oh, is this gonna be giant? Oh, yeah. Try and cut me all you want, Meta Knight. I am the greatest dodge master. Look at me go, I'm Kirby! I love the remix of Meta Knight's theme. Get cut from behind, Meta Knight. You are a fool! Aside from that chip damage, you fail. Next up, Forgo DDD. Feral DDD. I don't think I'll die, actually, until, like, the Super Duper Omega Cup. If there is one. A Super Duper Omega Cup would just wreck my ass. But I think I'll... Especially because I still have my maximum tomato from the store that I bought. I should be able to go through all the way and beat the ultimate form of the final boss. Hello, Feral DDD again. This is the third time we fought. Oh yeah, you have ter you have tornadoes above your flame thingies. Horrifying. Come on, let me clip you so I can. Uh, nope. Oh. You don't even get to suck me, DDD. -D -D. I thought you were gonna try and suck me, but you failed. Time to fight Leongar. This guy kicked my ass. Crap. Yeah, this one's going to be a, a bit of a hit and run. Yeah, dodging is definitely the way to go. I actually dodged over the seismic wave. Dang it, I got hit. Oh crap, here we go. Crazy laser beam time! Oh, time for a wipeout! Damn you. I'm coming to get you. Just 
gonna dodge around. This is Dark Souls. Oh, fuck. Laser beam, Kamehameha time. Dang it. Roll around. This guy's fast on his paws. Okay, okay, he's going fast. Dang it! Laser beam time. Hummy hummy mouth beam! Whew. Okay, now that I've started to get uh, dodging down, you know, right at the end. <laughs> Literally, right at the end of the game. That fight was much easier. Okay, now you get to see the eldritch form of the abomination. Say hello to this motherfucker. Ain't this thing just beautiful? Dang it, I got hit. Goodbye, laser beams. This is probably the most horrifying Kirby boss that there's ever been. Again, why do you shoot at me? There are probably other versions of you in there. But at least I made good time on beating him. And now, for my favorite fucking boss in Kirby ever! Seriously, chef's kiss, love this. Don't, have no idea how this fits in an arena and uh, Waddle Dees are watching the blood sports for their pleasure. But yeah, seriously, one of the best, one of the best, love the design. Beautiful, colorful, hot, ultimate life form, Fecto Elphilus. Love you! Floraline may be waifu. This is Husbando. Dang it. My sword! Oh, you just came to visit. Hello, friend. Dang it, I got hit. Still love this frickin' design. I need to get good at art just so I can draw you, because you are frickin' beautiful. Love you. Love your fight. Love the fact that this is basically Kirby Souls. I love you. Oh crap, you're gonna heal. Oh, that's the tell. The center of the ring goes to a specific one. Understandable. None for you. Sorry, Husbando. My sword! Goodbye, Husbando. You are utterly fantastic. Uh, kind of sad that we're not going to get the super duper end where we rush towards you as Optimus Prime. But that's utterly fantastic. Congratulations on a stunning victory, Kirby! Here's your hard-earned reward! Lots of money! And a rare stone! And a special figure! Was it an Elphalan figure? The... Uh, Effecto Elphalan? Yes! My husband! 
just freaking look at it! Ultimate life form, Facto Elphalis. The Elphalin we first met was born from a small, compassionate soul that hid behind greater invasive ambitions. Without a soul to temper its power, the creature's spatial teleportation ability ran amok, opening mysterious vortices left and right. Now that they're whole again, they're already planning their next invasion. Love that. Yes. Yes! Absolutely fantastical. Yes! That is going on my mantle piece! That is going on my mantle piece! Oh, look, even the pictures are here! What's my love it? This game. Oh, this game is fantastic! Look, Kirby, that photo was taken when the whole beast pack came to say hello. Let's make a bunch of unforgettable memories and fill this place, this whole wall with photos. This entire place is a wall. So I was technically correct. Oh yeah, I forgot. This is just looking at the past lives. I'm, I'm trying to learn. How do I uh, put new figures here? I want to replace the figurines. Elphalin, please. Oh yeah, I forgot. Thank you. Thank you for telling me, Alpha Lin, because I am a dumb. I shall put me away and place God tier Alpha Lin. Oh my God! If there's so many, apparently there's so many tier fours. Yes. Put on display. Just freaking look at that! Freaking look at that! That's amazing! I love that! Yes! I love this game. I love this game. This game is amazing. You got anything to say, my boy? I do not want to turn on online. Is there any blueprints that I'm missing? All right, so that should be all. Oh, okay. Thank you, dude. I didn't expect <laughs> you narcissist. <laughs> That's hilarious. He gave me his own figure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Give me volume fours. Yes. Elphalin is so excited. Of course we get the abomination. Invasive species. Fecto Forgo. The invading species alone and incomplete without Elphalin was trapped in the internal capsule. Their only refuge was the realm of their dreams. Those dreams spread powerful waves of psychic energy all over the world, slowly taking control of the animals they reached. Escape would require more energy. More! 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 Ah! Optimus Prime Kirby! Big Rig Mouth Kirby! To save two worlds, Kirby's final mouthful must be his biggest. It looks like a lot to handle, but he seems totally fine somehow. Go, Kirby! Carry your and Elphalin's combined hope for the future! Race through the sky and deliver the final blow! Utterly fantastic. I love this freaking game. This is my favorite Kirby game. Wild Hammer. This hefty hammer is made from super tough stone. It's too heavy for quick hits, but each powerful swing will deal explosive damage. You'll even crack the ground itself. Give me that gotcha, that gotcha power. Hello, ugly fetus. Invasive species, Fecto Forgo, Larva. When IDF-86 arrived, it began attacking all of the native wildlife. The creature was captured soon after and turned into a test subject. The native inhabitants used it to create tech beyond their wildest dreams. They eventually used that tech to leave the planet altogether, but IDF-86 remained forgotten and fla fra fractured, fractured. Love this. 
uh, ice Kirby. Blizzard Ice. Don a beautiful tiara of ice and become a frigid force of nature. Use this ability to skate around enemies and stop them cold with a volley of foam freezing icicles. Brr. I have the money. I want all these. They're awesome. Storm Tornado. Ominous clouds. Powerful winds. This scary storm roars to life with the press of a button. Pull enemies into your cyclone by swirling into them, then attack with lightning. This is beautiful. This is wonderful. Just look at the little the texture of the mask. <laughs> this big motherfucker. Big Red Tortilding. The aggressive boss of all Tortildings dwells within the forbidden zone of Redgar. When this hothead feels us, finds a suitably sweltering spot, it stays put. It's reckless with its attacks, shooting chunks of concrete out of its mouth to hit far away enemies. One more, I say. Never mind, that is a duplicate. One more new one, I say. That'll do. His primal nemesis, Forgo DDD. The foul fiend standing the guard at the bottom of Red God Volcano was King DDD again. He calmed down. He calmed back down after you removed his menacing mask. So why did he kidnap Elphalin? He said he was being controlled even before some strange beast put that mask on him. But yeah, this game. Utterly fantastic. Love this. Love this. I am going to put on fitting music. Hell yeah. Have them all. Have them all. I'm rich. I haven't even heard you play. Have all the money in the world. It's because I'm rich. Oh, I guess I unlocked new music. And they're not even doing anything. You toss star coins to the guitar case. Now the band can perform a nicer stage and play new songs. Oh, we got them a new stage. Lol. Oh, this is playing the second side. Trying to find the right music. There's just so many good songs. Okay, while this plays, I'm gonna give my thoughts on Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Oh, there's the waifu over there. Neat. Well, maybe. Yeah, I think this one's better. But yeah, quite honestly, probably the best Kirby game I've ever played. Purely because, like, it kind of felt like it had more of a story than some like I don't know there's just something about like uh, compared to Kirby Deluxe Triple Deluxe du Triple Deluxe Triple Deluxe where it was just oh no King Dedede has been kidnapped and then Robobot which I honestly oh well I know Robobot was pretty awesome as a story but for whatever reason I think it could be the fact that this is more production there's more production to it. And uh, because it's on the Switch, they have more graphical capability to them. Especially the cutscenes. The cutscenes are fantastic. A and the set pieces. The final set piece was utterly fantastic. But... Yeah, this is just my probably my favorite Kirby game now. Probably my favorite Kirby game. The production, the the fact, I love the, uh, uh, my brain's just going all jumbled up on oh, no, so many awesome things that this game did. 
but the one that stands out to me was the uh, the evolving of the copy abilities. The evolving of the copy abilities was just such a cool thing. It made you want to go out and find the treasure trove stones so that you could go and upgrade more abilities, find the blueprints, and try out the different little quirks of the powers. Even if it did kind of fall away, oh, the third one is best. <laughs> the first one is the basic one, the classic one, so if you still want to use the classic one, it's there. Then there's a slightly upgraded version, and then there's the ultimate version, and then I guess in the case of Hammer, there's the super duper fine finale DDD version. <laughs> but yeah, in Kirby fashion, the bosses are fantastic, especially the final boss. Well, not really, because we haven't gone through the post-game stuff yet, which I'm going to do next time. <laughs> oh, yeah, because that still exists. Ah. But, yeah, I did all the normal stuff that's currently available. I got all of the stones through all, well, all the stones that I currently have available to me. <laughs> that are all currently available to me. There are still two that I need to get somehow. But then I got all the, the Waddle Dees. Huzzah, that's squared away. But <laughs> now all that's left is the probably the ultimate cup because there's no way there's just two. There's no way in hell there's just two cups. There, there's always a beat you down into the ground surprise. Here's the ultimate boss cup in the arena. But, yeah, this is, this game is utterly fantastic. The boss designs are cool. The fact that they kind of went in a different direction and said, ah, let's focus on beasts. Forgotten land and then mouthful mode. It's so stupid, it's fantastic. <laughs> I love mouthful mode. It's stupid, it's wonderful. Elphalin, I think, is probably the best Kirby companion in a long time, especially because everybody, uh, even me to a degree, is just like points to him as like, you're gonna turn out to be a little bastard and you're gonna turn on us. I love the twist at the end, that kind of yes, but really no. Love it. And the final boss, Fecto Elphilus, is a wonderful design. I love it because it's so different compared to what... It's kind of like the final boss of Star Allies, which I, I really should go and replay Star Allies sometime. I'll probably do a Kirby marathon in which I'll play through Star Allies and then this again because this game is awesome. I probably won't start a new... Like... I probably won't start a new, new... Uh, diddly D, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> Depends on how long it'll, it would have been since I last played this when I play through all those Kirby games that I want to play through. But that's also another thing. I like that this is a 3D Kirby game, not just graphically, but functionally in the movement in which they're able to do a bit more. And I love that they took advantage of that with like the mouthful mode and all the puzzles and the abilities. It's just fantastic. The designs, the music, the graphics. And it's just like, everything is so good. Everything is so good. I love it. Love this game. And it's just like, there's not much to say. It's just all a bunch of jumbled thoughts of this is awesome, this is amazing, this is wonderful. Yes, Kirby developers, HAL Laboratories, more of this. <laughs> I think they got their, I think... Robobot was the peak of uh, 2D Kirby games. Maybe tied with Star Allies. It's been a while since I played Star Allies, but I do remember Star Allies was a lot of fun. But this game is nice to see that they took their, their, their time and made a really good Kirby game. A really damn good Kirby game. They're like, hey, remember how we said we we're going to make a 3D Kirby game on the GameCube? Well, we're bringing that idea back, and we're going to execute it like God. And they did good. Wonderful designs for the new characters. Alphalin is a wonderful character in his own right. 
Perfecto Elphilus and its whole parasitic invasive monstrosity eldritchness. Also great and wonderful and horrifically awesome. So yeah. I don't really think I have much to say anymore. I think that's just wonderful. And I think that that will do for now. We went longer than I was expecting to, mainly because things ramped up there. <laughs> I was. Uh, it took me a bit to finish off all of the treasure trials. It took me a bit to get all the Waddle Dees, even though I went back and specifically made sure that I did all the Waddle Dees that I could before the final two levels. But, yeah, that final boss, that final sequence... One of my favorite moments in Kirby. Top three, easily. Probably up there with the ending of Robobot. <laughs> but yeah. I love that Waddle Dee Town is a thing. Waddle Dee Town is so wonderfully done. The fact that you save Waddle Dees and then they come, they build new things, and there's things to do in town. is just like, it's really cool. I love it. I love it. And the fact that after you beat the game, some of the beast packs show up in town? Wonderful! And they picked the... They knew. They knew. They picked the right one. <laughs> they picked the one that everybody would want to be in Waddle Dee Town. But yes. I think that'll be it for now. Even though this is kind of like a, oh, I beat the game wrap-up even though we have more. That was an amazing finale. I kind of worried that the post-game won't match up to it. But we'll have to wait and see next time. But yes, but yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching. I've been Neon Icy Wings. If you want more from me, you can see stuff that I do on YouTube at Neon Icy Wings and Neon Icy Games. I try to create edited content every now and then when life isn't kicking me in the ass on Neon Icy Wings, my edited content YouTube channel. And then Neon Icy Games is for where I upload the the video recordings of these streams. So if you want to watch archives, you may. And if you're one of those people that are watching on Neon Icy Game Archives, then you can come on over to twitch.tv slash Neon Icy Wings and watch me play these games live. If you want to see me try my hand at art, you can find my uploads on Twitter, Newgrounds, Tumblr, and DeviantArt. All of them are at Neon Icy Wings except for Tumblr, which is Neon, uh, no, Icy Wings Art Corner. <laughs> but yes, but yes, but yes. Thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you dudes next time where we move on to the Psychic Memory Dream Place and save Leongar, apparently. But until then, bye, bye. If I was smart, what I would do is I would have uh, done the split mode on OBS and edited the sound settings so that my end slate could play while this uh, music plays, but uh, I am not intelligent. So this will just be the end. Thank you very much.